Welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And once again, we have some outstanding guests. I mean, I mean, one of them here is bringing God in, and the other one is taking him out. Well, well anyway, we said we, we have a few things here. <laughs> we, we're going to talk about God. And our guests are the Reverend Dr. Richard Archer. And he, that's from the uh, Ram Rimmer Church of Washington, D.C. Is, is that correct. correct? And they are based right here in New Carrollton, Maryland. I mean, right there, the New Carrollton and uh, the 450 and the Beltway. Yes, sir. Right. You yeah. can't, I mean, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. Exit 20 Z. Okay. Uh, we have, and also we have a, a, a singer here, uh, Minerva uh, Blanco. And uh, she has performed for the President of the United States. She has performed for the VFW. And now she's performing for us. <laughs> and isn't that fantastic? Nice to have both of you, Thank you. on the show. Thank uh, you for the invite. And, and, and one of the things that it maybe we're going to, is that God only knows. That theme, I think, fits everybody sometimes. Sometimes it fits everybody. And uh, Minerva is involved in that. Now, uh, Reverend Dr. Uh, uh, Archer, tell us something uh, about your organization. How did you get involved with it? Sure. My name is, again, Apostle Richard L. Archer, and I am the presiding prelay and the general overseer for RAM Ministries Incorporated. What RAM stands for is Righteous Acts of Ministry Made Memorable but Life-Changing. Mm -hmm. What happened, a couple of friends and I got together and decided that we were tired of church as usual. Mm -hmm. People going to church Sunday after Sunday, leaving the same way they came. The only thing that was consistent in the churches are the tithe, the, the pastor's love offering, and the fact <laughs> that the service would be certainly happening again the following Sunday. Uh -huh, we just right. believe that when people enter into the house of God, they should leave a different way. When you come into the presence of the living God, you should have a life-changing experience. Mm -hmm. And the church has lost its ability to do so. Mm -hmm. In fact, we believe that the preacher has lost power, the leadership has lackings, and the mm -hmm. missionaries have no missions, the deacons are all sneaking, mm -hmm. and the trustees can't wow. be trusted, and the missionaries have no mission. <laughs> wow! So wow. we developed a ministry called Ram Ministries, Righteous Acts of Ministry Made Memorable but Life-Changing, a place where the living God can be felt, where you can touch the hem of His garment and be changed. We actually came together a couple months ago. We've been together almost a year or so, and uh, we decided we would just plant some seeds here in the District of Columbia and the Greater Washington area. Mm -hmm. We started a church which is called the Rama Church of Greater Washington, D.C. Why we say Greater Washington? Because we encumber certainly D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. We have a radio show every Sunday morning on 1340 uh, a.m., which is uh, WYCB, mm -hmm. which is heard all around the world on mm -hmm. www.myspiritdc.com. Mm -hmm. In fact, people get up early in California, Atlanta, Iowa, just to hear the radio show every Sunday morning. Fantastic. 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m., and it's life-changing. We decided that, you know, people don't want to hear the word or hear you pray or hear you preach if they're cold, hungry, and homeless. Right. So we just believe if you put some food in their belly, put a coat <laughs> on their back, show them some love, then you can point them to Christ. Mm -hmm. And so that's what Ram does. Righteous acts of ministry, mm -hmm. ready and mobile, ready to take the kingdom back by force and doing it the way Christ did it, touching uh -huh. one life at a time, reclaiming the souls for the kingdom. And so we came together and we put all these different entities in place here in Washington. And since we've done that, we have 186 churches mm -hmm. all over the United States. Mm -hmm. We have is now, that, right? that is correct, we have mm -hmm. 186 churches that are affiliated with what we call Rims of Ram Covenant Ministries. And what we've done is we put together a covenant with our brothers and sister churches. We believe that you're never in authority unless you're under authority. Everybody is accountable to somebody and any pastor who says he just hears from God, he needs to check himself before he wrecks himself. Mm -hmm. He needs to hear and touch and feel and have somebody to be accountable to. Mm -hmm. So therefore what our organization does, it provides a 3E approach to mm -hmm. society. We empower, we educate, and we equip individuals to become positive contributing members of society. Everybody is an ex-somebody. Mm -hmm. If you look far enough, you can find something wrong with everybody. Hey, but once tell, you say that real loud. <laughs> everybody's an ex-somebody. You know, right. We dig deep enough, we can There's find something, something. In, in your closet. That's right. But what we just believe is that if you come to God correct, 
Acknowledge, repent, return, and be restored. He will wash you in such a way, Mr. Brown, that you won't even have the stench of your past. In fact, what we believe, the only thing about your past that really matters is it should dictate your praise, where God brought you from. You should open your mouth and give him glory. So what Ram Ministry does, it, it empowers. We Great. give them life skills. It mm -hmm. equips. We mm -hmm. give you education and abilities to go out and become a contributing member of society. And then we, we certainly want to uh, be that person that will support you through the process. We don't want just to set you out there and let you all by yourself. We yeah. want to be there to encourage you. We want to be there to find out what your needs are. And you can pick that phone up and call us. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can reach us on the web at R Archer Ministries. Mm -hmm. That's R-A-R-C-H-E-R -R -E ministries.wetpaint.com. Mm -hmm. This thing is taking off. It is so phenomenal. We have so many different entities that people say, what is all this RAM? Mm -hmm. We have RAM RAW. Mm -hmm. RAW stands for Righteous Acts of Witnessing. Mm -hmm. That means we go out and we feed the homeless. We clothe them. We shelter people. Mm -hmm. We have this other organization we, which call RBC, mm -hmm. which is Ram Bible Institute. We just believe that with Ram Bible College, we can educate you through the Word of God. For the Word is true, and we believe we can get it in your mind, Mr. Brown. We can change mm -hmm. your behind, mm -hmm. you know, because the Word of God yeah. is life-changing. Right. Right. The Word is powerful. It's quick. Mm -hmm. It's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ever ask, mm -hmm. hope, or think according to the power that mm -hmm. worketh in you. But if you don't have anything in you, it's not going to work for you. It's yeah. like going to the bank trying to make a withdrawal. You have made a deposit. <laughs> They're going to call the cops. <laughs> Very so it's good. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Sir. Thank good. you for having us here today to yeah. talk about Ram. Well, well I, I'm going to get back to sure. you as, as far as your organization and as, as involving uh, volunteers. Yes, sir. We're excited. Of, uh, what I want to do is that, uh, have Minerva here, Blanco. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself there. You've been playing at the White House and uh, VFW all over, huh? and they, you have the uh, uh, the increase, you know, things about uh, uh, music, and you have a message. Yes, that do. that particular message mm -hmm. that you have there, the one that said, "God only knows." Right. I think everybody yeah. out there has said something like that sometime. Mm -hmm. God only knows because something is happening to That's all true. of us yeah. all the time. Amen. So, Minerva, give us a little. Your sure. background. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the uh, CD, which is titled God mm -hmm. Only Knows, and uh, the reason behind it. Because people, as the Reverend has just mentioned, you know, have a past, and uh, the cover of this album is very telling. The CD has a man who is a stick figure on a journey on a hill, mm -hmm. and the light of, of grace of God is shining upon him. But there are question marks above that head of that person because we all wonder through our lives, what does God have destined for us? Mm. Um, and so these songs that I wrote, which are original, and on the CD, there are seven of them, focus on our dependency in God, in giving us direction, in showing us His will, mm -hmm. through prayer and through praise, as the Reverend has said, and, and especially in keeping in a relationship with God. The most important relationship we need to nurture is that one with right. God. So I started singing uh, contemporary Christian music, I'd say in the 90s, uh, mm -hmm. when I wrote these songs, it was in, in the late 90s, and then uh, we moved here, my husband and I, from Dayton, Ohio. I decided to record those seven songs that I had mm -hmm. uh, written that are inspired by the Holy Spirit. The wonderful thing about my creation, or my creativity, I should speak, is attributed to the work of the Holy Spirit, because these songs, lyrics, and music usually, remarkably, came together um, without, with very little effort from me. So I praise God that I was inspired to write these songs, and the message has been uh, shared with people that are in churches, um, in all denominations, I've, I've performed for mo Muslim communities mm -hmm. as well as Christian right. communities. Because there you deal is, with humans. There is one God. <laughs> right. and we That's all right. <laughs> You're dealing with a human being. All of Correct. them are humans. Correct. That's right. right. And I'm very happy to say that people uh, do relate to the music. Uh, before I, I was uh, focused on contemporary Christian music, of course, I did a lot of popular singing mm. in um, 
with bands and some theater also. Mm -hmm. um, so now, you have a terrific uh, background. Yes, I, yes, yeah. I, I do. You and know. now I've dabbled into writing a uh, play. It's mm -hmm. a musical <laughs> comedy, uh -huh. which I hope everyone will begin to see in the spring of 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, well, know, don't know yet which theater company is going to take it on, but um, right? we're in the process of marketing it. And, and the title is Her Story. Her Story. Yes. So you're going to uh, actually uh, be on the Ed Brown show the first Oh, time. I would love to. <laughs> I would love to come back. When, <laughs> I would love Wonderful. to come back. Now, see, I got that I commitment. Thank <laughs> you. On the air. 